Hi there, this is Jake from the Magic Toolbox team and I'm going to show you how to install Magic 360 onto your WordPress website. Magic 360 allows you to spin images left and right like this so that viewers can see them from every angle. It's a great way to show off your products and help to sell them on your website. So the first thing we're going to do is download the, the WordPress plugin for this um, and you can, uh, you can see that we're on the WordPress page of the the Magic Toolbox website. I've already downloaded the plugin, so it's right there. And now I'm going to head over to my WordPress admin area and go to Plugins, Add New, go to the Upload page. I'm going to browse and just find the plugin. I'm going to upload that. Install now. and activate the plugin and that's it we've done it so let's just scroll down and there it is magic 360 now the next thing we're going to do is go to a post and we're going to create a new post and we'll just call this magic 360 test and the next thing is to upload our images, all our 360 images. You need quite a lot of, of 360 images. For a really smooth spin, we suggest about 36 images. And if you want to zoom as well, then you'll need an extra 36. So 36 smaller ones, 36 big ones for the zoom. So here are 36 uh, images of 360 pixels wide and some bigger ones, 800 pixels wide. So I'm going to select those and start the upload process. And this is going to take uh, a, a couple of minutes. So I'll get back to you in a, and continue the video in a moment. And save all those changes. And now we can see in our gallery that we've got 72 images. There they are, and we're going to choose the one that we want to, to display first. So let's have a look at, uh, let's grab this one here. Oh, actually, no, that's the, that's the big image, because the 800 reference I was using for, for my bigger images. So we'll grab these, this small one here. So I'm going to take a look at that image. Yeah, that looks good. I'm now going to insert that into my site. The full size, no particular alignment. Um, yeah, insert into post. Now you can see that the code has been pasted into the page by WordPress, and the first image here is actually needs to point to the large image which had exactly the same file name except it had 800. So we'll put that into there and give it a class of magic 360. And we don't need this class in the in the image or the title. So just for clarity, I'm going to remove all of this just to keep it nice and clean so you can see what's happening. And we are going to add a rel attribute. And in that rel attribute, we're going to add some parameters from the integration page on the Magic 360 website. Let's scroll down the page to the referencing images section. And it shows you here how to add a rel tag and then the the file name of the images so that uh, Magic360 knows how you've set up the file names of your images. Uh, you must use a, 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 a consistent format, 01, 02, 03, etc. Um, and a bit further down, we can see there's a section for magnifier. We're using a magnifier on ours, so we are going to grab this code here. I'm just going to highlight these parameters, copy those back into our our post. I can see I've, I've missed out an equals sign there. So rel equals paste in the parameters file name shoe hyphen 
360 hyphen and then the column that's the name of our smaller image uh, magnify is set to true magnify file name the shoe hyphen 800 hyphen column number that's the name of our larger image so that's uh, that's all done let's save that and preview it and that should be working it's loading and there we have it so there is magic 360 working now the next thing to do is that is to try to change some settings let's just uh, magnify into it so you can see that ah, lovely beautiful high quality image there okay so let's go back into into WordPress now you, you might not have 36 images so you'll need to add some extra code for the number of rows and columns uh, let's just come down here multiple rows here's another example so this shows you that you'll need to add rows and columns depending on how many images you have I'm copying those I'm going back in here and they would go here rows equals however many you have if it's a up down spin as well as left right and then column those are the left left to right images so in our case there would actually be one row and 36 columns and that's the default for magic 360 so if you happen to have 36 columns and only one row you don't need to set those because that's the default but if you have anything else you'll need to change those um, now you can either change that here in the rel tag or if all of your images have the same number of rows and columns you can just go to hang on let's just save the draft first you'll be able to go over to your plugins over here and go to the magic 360 configuration page and you can change the default number of rows and columns there so we've got 1 to 36 if you've got say uh, a 3d spin with three rows and maybe 18 images each you can just put those in there and you can also change the other attributes so let's say you want to drag it on hover so as soon as someone just moves the cursor over the image it'll it'll spin it uh, we can set the auto spin to continually go so let's uh, let's make that infinite um, and let's increase the magnifier let's put it up to a hundred percent so that it the, the magnifier fills the full width of the of the image um, and hey while we're here let's change the loading text to this is a new message right let's save those settings now that's not going to work for me so I'm going to change it back to actually it will work because I've already overridden the settings so let's save that and then back to our post now I've already set rows and columns so that will override it so that'll be fine let's save the draft and preview again here's that new message that loaded fast and now I'm not dragging that's just that's just spinning on hover which is a nice effect and we've set the auto spin to keep going so it's going to keep going until we click it or I can just hover over it and interrupt it and I'm going to click it right that stopped it so now I can just control it backwards and forwards and I can magnify fantastic so that is magic 360 on your WordPress website if you need any help with it, just head back to the Magic, 3, Magic Toolbox website, click the Contact Us link and fill in our form and we'll get back to you often on the same day, if not the next day. Um, so thanks a lot for watching and I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and enjoy using Magic 360 on your WordPress site.